Lava's of Plenty is an amazing Minecraft mod that is now updated to 1.18.1 that adds in truly incredible biomes. Over 20 custom biomes throughout the overworld and the nether are added via Bombs of Plenty, and truthfully, it is one of the best, if not the best, biome mod out there for Minecraft. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install it. Welcome to the breakdown. First and foremost, we do have Mr. Mars Sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, start your very own server, where you can run bombs of plenty quickly and easily. We love it just Apex so much, we also own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So go check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. But bombs of plenty is a truly incredible mod with so many, so many awesome biomes, including this one that you can see in our old thumbnail here. And yes, this is for 1.18.1, even though it says 117 on the screen. Obviously, the video you're watching now can't be here until it's uploaded. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and get this the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below that's going to take you here this is our in-depth text tutorial for getting bombs of plenty if you struggle to go through this tutorial or anything like that you want to go through it at your own pace you can use this tutorial here on our website which is 100 written and it goes through everything as well once you're here though click on the download bombs of plenty button to be taken to the bombs of plenty download page once you're here you want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see the minecraft 1.18 section now you can also see some of the other awesome biomes that are added in here i mean blue biomes and all sorts of crazy stuff, epic flower biomes, and this does pair with the new world generation, meaning extended world height and things like that in Minecraft 1.18, which I love to see. Nevertheless, though, once you are on this page, come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, and under Minecraft 1.18, click on the orange download button next to Biomes of Plenty 1.18.1. Then it will take you off where, after a few seconds, this will download. Now, you might need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. For me, it downloads in the bottom left on Google Chrome, and I do not have to keep it, but if you do have to keep it, that is 100% safe to do so, I promise. Almost all Firefox, same thing, save it in the server screen. Now, we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download the Terra Blender mod, and this is a new compatibility mod, basically a mod that is required in order for Bombs of Plenty to work in Minecraft 1.18.1. Luckily, this is also linked in the description down below. And when you click on that download Terra Blender link, it's going to take you here where you can have the Terra Blender mod. On the right hand side, scroll down until you find Minecraft 1.18. And then under that, you'll have Terra Blender Forge 1.18.1. Click on the orange download button to the right of that, and after a few seconds, Terra Blender will start downloading just like Biomes of Plenty did. Again, like Bombs of Plenty, you may need to keep or save the file, but it's 100% safe to do so. Now, there's one more thing we need to download, and that is Forge. Forge is the mod loader that makes Bombs of Plenty work in Minecraft. You can find a link to Forge, you guessed it, in the description down below. It's going to be the fourth link down below. And once you're here, you want to scroll down. And this is our in-depth text tutorial for Forge. It's a dedicated tutorial, so if you do have any issues installing Forge, this tutorial might troubleshoot those, whereas we might skip over them in a video that's more focused on getting the mod like this one. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on the green download Forge button to be taken to Forge as a website. Then you want to find MC 1.18.1. If it's not already selected, to do that, click on the left-hand side, click on 1.18, and select 1.18.1. Once you see this here, though, go under Download Latest and click on the Installer button. That then takes us off to Add Focus, where stop! Don't click anything in your screen. Put your hands up in the air. Don't click anything whatsoever on this page at all. Just wait. Wait about 10 seconds, and then in the top right, click the red skip button. That's the only thing you want to do. Let's click the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that in the bottom left, Forge will begin downloading. Now again, you may need to keep this file, and as long as it has Forge in the title, you're 100% safe to do so. On Mozilla Firefox, you may need to save it in your center of your screen, and the same thing. As long as Forge is in the title, you're 100% safe to do that. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to go ahead and get these files we downloaded and drag them to our desktop for ease of use. To do that, you want to click on the little Windows icons, top left to my screen, bottom left of your screen, or the center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this does work completely on Windows 11. And then go ahead and type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Click on that, and in here you'll find Forge, Terra Blender, and Biomes of Plenty. Drag and drop these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're going to be starting off with Forge here. That's because Forge is required in order to install your other mods. Nevertheless, what we want to do is go ahead and right-click on Forge. And by the way, if your icons look weird, they don't look like mine, just keep watching. We're going to show you how to fix this. Three issues are fixed in the same way. The first is your icons. If they're broken, guess what? Keep watching. We're going to fix it. If, for whatever reason, when you right-click on Forge, click on Open With. If you don't have Java here, okay, that's perfectly fine. We're going to show you how to fix it. It's the same thing that fixes the icons. And then last but not least, if you do have Java and you click OK, and it doesn't work, it errors out, it does anything but open up this right here, 
In that case, you also need to do the same fix that fixes all three of these issues. And that issue, again, is right here, these icons being different, or the fact you're not having Java at all when you open Forge, or the fact of Forge not opening when you try to open it with Java. All of those are fixed with Java 17. Java 17 is now required for Minecraft 1.18 mods and mod packs and servers and anything. Everything's required to Java 17, and you can find this in the description down below. It goes over every single step of getting Java 17, and it's not a lot. It's just three steps. Download this, get it installed, and then once you've done that, you'll want to run the jar fix. The jar fix is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. You can't run the jar fix until you download Java, so make sure you get Java first, then run the jar fix. Nevertheless, once you've done that, your icons will be fixed, and you should be able to finally right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Mod System Installer for Forge, where you want to click on Install Client, and click OK. Is it going to download, install, and set up Forge? The only reason it would fail at this point is if you don't have Minecraft 1.18.1 installed. What does that mean? You need to go play Minecraft 1.18.1 without any mods, without anything like that. Just go play Minecraft 1.18.1, come back here and it will work. As you can see, successfully installed Client Profile Forge version 1.18.1. Awesome. Go ahead and click OK and we can delete Forge from our desktop. It's time to get Bombs of Plenty installed. To do that, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. And then in the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure that a Forge profile or installation is selected. Now, for you, it might be selected by default. I'm guessing it will be for me. But if it's not, I'm going to show you what to do. As you can see, mine's already selected. If you see Forge in the bottom left here next to the play button, and then see 1.18.1, click play and click play again. You're good to go. Skip forward a little bit in the tutorial. However, if you don't see Forge here, what you want to do is go ahead and click on this, and then you want to go ahead and select it from this list. Now, if Forge isn't on this list at all, or it is on this list, and it doesn't say 1.18.1 under it, what you want to do is go ahead and click on installations up here at the top. Then you want to make sure modded is checked. As you can see, I uncheck modded and Forge disappears. Check modded and it reappears. And when it does, click play and click play again. However, if you still don't have Forge or the version is wrong, 1.18.1-Forge doesn't show up under it, what you want to do is click on new installation. Then you want to go ahead and name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our amazing 1.18.1 Minecraft Survival and Sky Block server. It's truly incredible. 150 players online every single day, so come play with us. Playdarbreakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now let's just go ahead and click this latest release drop down here, and then we want to scroll down until we find a release 1.18.1-Forge. Right here it is for me. You may have to scroll down a ways to find yours, but mine is right up here towards the top. Then we want to go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing it so we can see in-game. The most important part for you is this version drop down and making sure it says release 1.18.1-Forge. Now click create in the bottom right, and we have this new Playdarbreakdowncraft.com profile that has 1.18.1 one dash forge under it. Finally, you can hover over this, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft is opening up. The hard part is over. The rest of this tutorial is super, super easy. Getting forge is the most difficult part of installing Minecraft mods. And like I said, luckily, it is now complete. You now have Minecraft Forge installed and it's simple from this point on. So here we go, Minecraft is opening and if it does go not responding like this or you have any issues like that, that is perfectly normal and that is honestly nothing to worry about. Now there's a small chance I have other mods installed. That shouldn't affect this, but just know that you might not have other mods installed. However, if you do, it could be causing an issue to kind of have an exit code one crash where Minecraft 1.18.1 won't open with Forge. That's because there's other mods in your mods folder. Nevertheless, once you're on the Minecraft main menu here, you want to go ahead and select mods and then you want to click on open mods folder. And I do have lucky block installed. We'll just ignore that. It's fine. Go ahead and click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the Minecraft main menu, click on mods and then click on open mods folder. When we do that, it's going to open up our mods folder. And I did uninstall lucky block kind of in a jump cut there, but Optifine is still there. No big deal. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and drag and drop bombs of plenty and Terra blender into our mods folder, right like so, boom. We can then come back to Minecraft here and close out of it because it's not here and your mods won't be here until you quit Minecraft and then we can go ahead and relaunch it and Bombs of Plenty and Terra Blender will be installed. Let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. And once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we again want to make sure that we're selecting either our Forge profile or that playdarbreakdowncraft.com profile we created, whichever one is working with 1.18.1 Forge. As you can see, ours is here. Either one of these will work. Then go ahead and click play. You may have to click play again. By the way, if you check this box right here, you won't have to do that every time. But click play again, and now Minecraft 1.18.1 will open up, and Bombs of Plenty will be installed. It's that quick and that easy, and now you're just waiting. It's just basically a waiting game to get Minecraft 1.18.1 open with Bombs of Plenty, and it will take much 
much longer than vanilla Minecraft, and every mod you install slows down Minecraft openings. So just keep that in mind. If you have 150 mods, it's going to take Minecraft a lot longer to open than with one mod, and no mods is going to be a lot quicker than even one mod will be. So keep that in mind. That's why Minecraft can take a while to open with mods. It's also why Minecraft airs out and all that stuff. But nevertheless, here we are on the Minecraft main menu where we can click on mods, and there's Terra Blender and Bombs of Plenty. Now, one thing that's interesting is if we go into single player and create a new world, used to you would have to go over here and, or sorry, used to you would have to select the Bombs of Plenty world. I accidentally just hit create world, but that's okay because that's what you do now. You don't have to select Bombs of Plenty when creating a new world in Minecraft 1.18. In old versions, you do, but in 1.18 plus of Bombs of Plenty, you no longer have to do that. It just works. That's also true for servers, which is great, meaning out of the box, servers work with 1.18.1 and Bombs of Plenty together. It's a huge, huge update and something that, honestly, I am very, very happy to see Bombs of Plenty add in. So here we are. We are now in game, and right away, we are in Bombs of Plenty. Look at that. These are Bombs of Plenty biomes looking good. Thorn biomes over here. F3, we can see bombs right here. Bombs of Plenty field. Biomes of Plenty muskig. Muskig biome there. And, ooh, it looks like we have a flower biome over here. Wow, absolutely crazy. I love seeing all of these biomes just immediately pop out with 1.18.1 Bombs of Plenty. Looking good. Nevertheless, that is how you can get Bombs of Plenty in Minecraft 1.18.1. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and enjoy these truly awesome biomes. I'm not in uh, creative, or I can't go into creative, so I can't really fly around, but uh, I don't think there's any denying this is Bombs of Plenty. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content, and I am out. Peace.